Today in our continuing series on free enterprise with the Florida Chamber of Commerce, we are joined by Nebeyu Abebe, subject matter expert on population health for Sedexo. Sedexo is a provider of quality life services, which means providing services that positively impact individual, organizational, and community performance, whether it's through sustainable practices or by promoting health and wellness, not just for your employees, but around the world. For a company that is the 18th largest employer in the world, this seems like a big task. Nabe, you tell us, what are some of the programs that help make Sedexo's quality of life initiative so successful? Well, we're in the business of providing companies with uh, services that improve their employees' quality of life, which means we are looking at improvements in quality of life from many angles, uh, from the employers and the employees, but also from our own employees and the communities in which uh, they live. Um, and so we've created a number of initiatives that improve um, the quality of life of our own employees, our clients, their customers, and, and employees. Um, and since we are a global player in food services, um, our Sodexo Foundation, which was founded in 1999, mm -hmm. has made more than $17 million worth of grants to end childhood hunger in America. We've also created programs like the Mindful Healthy Dining uh, program, the Healthy Vending Program, uh, and even a program that helps cultural destinations like zoos and museums provide healthy children's meal options. Uh, additionally, we've um, developed an evidence-based weight loss and lifestyle management program called CORE4, which has yielded um, some pretty strong outcomes for many of our clients uh, and their employees. Um, and late and uh, most recently, we've partnered with the YMCA of Central Florida uh, for our latest pilot program called Communities for Health, which will focus on uh, the idea that when employees make good choices at work, those choices uh, translate into their lives outside of work. Let's talk about that last one a little bit more. Uh, communities for Health. What what does the program seek to accomplish, and and really, why should businesses in general look at approaching wellness programs of their own? Sure. Well, with rising um, with the rising prevalence of chronic disease, which uh, drive majority of uh, uh, companies' healthcare expenditures. Um, Many uh, companies are looking at workplace wellness programs as a solution to not only um, drive down the cost of care, but to improve the overall health and well-being of their employees. Unfortunately, um, many workplace wellness programs uh, really haven't um, been that successful uh, in terms of achieving those two uh, objectives that I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. And so what Communities for Health is trying to do is really enhance traditional employee wellness programs by taking a more systems-based approach to uh, engaging employees, starting off at work, um, and then continuing that engagement um, as they go home and um, go out into the community. And that's where the partnership with the YMCA comes in, where uh, we're able to uh, not only introduce some of our quality of life programs, but uh, the ones that the YMCA offers as well. And we're able to utilize their, um, their centers in the community to help with that engagement um, that I mentioned earlier. And um, the overall goal of the program is to design a uh, workplace wellness solution that would um, yield strong uh, returns on investment for our, for our clients and to improve the overall health and well-being of the community. So the calculation here is that by investing in wellness programs for the employee, it translates into a smart business decision. Absolutely. That's the end goal. Nebeyu, thanks for the time today. Thank you.